Hello YouTube, I'm here to answer a question to my nail subscribers that I get all the time. Okay, I had to pause giving you the business on Food Network. It's a new show that I'm watching. I'm a TV junkie. But anyways, I'm here to answer a question that I get from a lot of my nail subscribers. What made me decide to grow my nails? Believe it or not, it was just something that happened. Really, it was just something that happened. I was always known for biting my nails out. I mean, I had nails to the stub, and I wish I had a picture to show y'all that my nails was to the stub, but, you know, I don't got fancy technology like that now. I have to wait until a month or so. I'm in a new, I'm looking to get in a new business. I will tell y'all more about that down the road, but for now, my, te my technology is low, so I cannot include, you know, pictures that I have around the house inside the computer but it was one day in high school it was my junior year it was like March or April and I decided that I am not going to bite my nails no more I mean my nails was to the stub and they was uh, just looking like male hands and I, I wanted my nails to, I wanted my hands to look more feminine and beautiful so I said I'm not going to Chop my! I ain't going to bite my nails no more, even if I had to put hot sauce or something on them to stop me from biting them. So that's what I did. And after 30 days, it just became more easier. Now, I did not expect for them to grow like they did. I didn't even know my nails could grow like this. And for y'all that's been subscribed to me along, y'all know this is actually pretty medium for me. My nails have gotten as far as like out there three inches long. And I will include a picture of what my nails look like among its longest. Okay, as y'all see, that's how my nails can get at as long as about three inches before they become, you know, unbearable for me. Especially now that I exercise. So this is about the longest that I allow them to get. Maybe a little bit longer, but that's about it. Um, But anyways, yes. It just happened by accident. It was one day in history class. I decided that I was not going to chop my nails. And when I came back in my senior year at high school, um, you could notice a difference because there was some length. It was about like an inch and a quarter right then. Um, I did not start using nail polish until, well, of color until like January. I always, because I was still in the closet a little bit. So I was, I always have clear nail polish on. Just a basic clear coat. And I wasn't really into Sally Hansen until I brought, I brought like four Sally Hansen nail polish cream colors. And I was scared to wear it, so I gave it away to my cousins and stuff. Now, I wish I would have kept those cream colors because I want to see what that white looked like on me now that I'm out and proud. But, no. My first color that I used was, I think, around January or March. It was the Sally Hansen 3K. Oh, Sally Hansen 410 3K or more. This is the color I use, and it's a gold color. If I can, I'll include a picture in the... um. I will clue the picture right about now where it looks like on me. Okay, now that y'all see what it looks like on me, that's pretty much the end of that. I mean, I just, the reason why I grew my nails was to stop biting on them. And I did not have no idea they would grow just like this. They started growing a certain length, and I started getting compliments, and I started just naturally taking care of them. It just came naturally to them. I put on some clear coat. Um, they kept them hardened. And then I fell in love with Sally Hansen nail polish once I started buying the Sally Hansen clear coat and the 410 3K or more. And then my bo my first uh, bold change was when I chopped my nails. That gave me the power to wear color. 
I, I my nails was three inches long. I chopped them all off in June. I will include the video link right about here. And I. I did red, white, and gold on my fingernails. So, yes. That is it, y'all. It will probably be some pictures at the end of this video. I'm not trying to run this up no more than six minutes. Any questions, comments, tips, suggestions, leave it in the comments box. Like this video if it was helpful to you. And feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I noticed that 45% of y'all look at me on y'all smartphones. So if you want to like the video on your iPhone 4S or iPhone 5, Galaxy S4, just pull or uh, just push your finger on your touch screen. And you should, it should like, it should give you that like option. Just press your finger on the um on your smartphone to like the video. So that is it, y'all. I will see y'all soon with more videos.